Hi, Haiti and My Heart family and friends. Once again, I'm Louise Elliott and I'm a director with Haiti and My Heart. And as promised last week, I have a real live guest with me. And uh, this week I have Tessa Lightheart and uh, I've asked her to come and chat with us this week because Tessa is the artist behind these art greeting cards <laughs> that we um, are selling during this spring student sponsorship campaign. And uh, I know some people have asked me, well, who is this Tessa Lightheart and, and what is she all about and how did she get connected to Haiti in my heart? So I've asked uh, Tessa to be our guest this week so we can talk about Tessa, her art artwork uh, about Haiti and my heart and all that kind of good stuff so welcome thank you so the first question that our viewers want to know is Tessa what is your connection to Haiti and my heart my connection to Haiti and my heart would be Louise everybody's connected to me I know I know but, but she's but lovely there so. you go <laughs> she is just so passionate about Haiti and my heart one of the things that we wanted Tessa to share with our viewers was her artistic background yeah um, I started uh, painting and drawing and sculpting since I was very young um, and it's always been always something that's been a very strong part of me um, I um, the major field that I'm um, in right now is hair uh, so I just today graduated Yay! from uh, MC College and I'm starting a position at Mott Salon tomorrow so that's really exciting and uh, in my as well as in my hair career and that passion, I also do paint on the side and draw on the side, mostly uh, acrylics on canvas and portraits. Mm. But what was it about the project um, and what the potential was that was appealing to you? Um, it was definitely a challenge and I didn't feel 100% comfortable with that specific type of art because mine is very different. Um, but it was uh, something that was going to make such a difference and I knew that I need to be a part of it mm -hmm. And so we spent many many hours discussing specifically what we were to, to draw and what the kids would really relate to And other people would relate to and I think we really nailed it down as to what really was good for everyone Yeah, and absolutely. really to for the kids to really feel that they're a part of it. And I brought Tessa back in on the process of selecting the artwork actually because we did truly get 180 students to color um, all these different pieces of art. And for so many different reasons, we chose and looked at uh, all the pieces of art. And I brought Tessa back in on that process. So what was it like to, at that stage to see your art that was just in black and white and then the students with their interpretation of what you gave them. I specifically remember that moment being extremely emotional and very touching. Mm -hmm. Like it was just, I, I hold it so close to my heart because I haven't met any of these people personally, mm -hmm. but I definitely felt with my art and their art collaborating together that it was, it was more Mm -hmm. than what it was specifically just paper tangible paper yeah. it was more motion yeah and yeah it was, it was beautiful yeah the art that 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 came back uh, with me and we digitized it turned it into these beautiful and charming pieces of art and it would have been in I think mid-April that we got the final product back from the printers and I showed it to you I said here Tessa here's your art what was that what was that moment like I uh, didn't feel real. <laughs> it was really exciting. It was pretty cool, to yeah. be honest. And then just looking through it all, and it's so perfectly packaged and right. so accessible for everyone. And it was just, it was like, this is what we did. But I wanted to know from Tessa, what is her favorite card and why? My favorite card is this one. Just love all of the detail. It's just, it's so great. It's by Rose Minita, and she's um, eight years old from in grade one, and she's just, she's got my heart. <laughs> <laughs> I just love how she can just be so carefree, and everything is so wildly colorful and happy, and this is my favorite. So Tessa has her favorite card, and I have about three favorite cards. Actually, more I than that. more than just one. I know, I know. <laughs> so we have favorite cards and in each uh, box of 12 cards, we're confident that you'll find at least one card that you will love and uh, that you'll be able to send out there into the world, whether it's just in your local community or uh, across Canada or even internationally. 
and that is super helpful for us as well because when you send the card on the back of the card I'll just hold it up really quickly um, it tells you the name the grade and the age of the student uh, that colored that card as well as the contact information for Haiti in my heart so people can find out more about us so when you purchase a box of cards uh, you're not only contributing to this spring student sponsorship campaign, but you're also helping us spread the word about Haiti in my heart uh, wherever you send these cards. So uh, you can purchase those cards uh, through me, clearly, uh, but also we make it really simple. You can buy them online mm -hmm. uh, at www.haitiinmyheart.ca forward slash shop, uh, and you'll find the cards there as well as some other really cool things from Haiti as well. So our last question for Testa is, is there anything else about Haiti in my heart that she would like our viewers to know? I think the biggest thing for me that I'd really like, like people to know is that this is entirely a nonprofit and that mm -hmm. every single penny goes towards the children and the education in Haiti. And I think that is so valuable nowadays, mm -hmm. really do. Um, Every time I talk to somebody about um, which um, charity they want to give to, and that is super important. So that's something I think that really needs to be said. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Great. Well, thank you. And uh, we're so grateful for all of our guests that uh, have taken the time, especially Tessa, who's now, well, you've always been a working woman, but now with launching her career, if you're here in Kelowna and you need a haircut or style, I would highly recommend Tessa. Come see me. Come, yeah. <laughs> Go see Tessa. <laughs> And uh, I will have another guest with me next week, of course. Our student sponsorship campaign, we're about halfway through. We've had so many supporters, uh, people purchasing the art cards, going onto the Haitian marketplace, buying items. Uh, we've had monthly gifts set up, uh, people providing one-time donations, and we're so grateful for all of your support. So there's just a few weeks left that you can jump on the bandwagon and people can make their impact. So between now and next week, when I will have another guest live with me, we encourage you to lead your life with your heart.